Notice that the reading states that disbelieving, um, the opposite of disbelieving is not doubt. The opposite of disbelieving is disobedience. The, the will of God is not just a deposit of list of doctrines and teachings. That's part of it. But more importantly, Christianity is a way of living that we must live according to God's will. When we don't, then we are disobeying God. And even people of faith, people who believe, disobey God at times, don't we? All of us are believers in God, but sometimes we fail in doing what God wants us to do or fail in the good that he wants us to do. And that's what we call sin. And that's why we have the sacrament of penance, that the Lord, the Lord comes he says that the just cry out, the Lord hear, hears them and frees them from their distress and rescues them. When we come to the sacrament of penance and confess our sin, we're really believing in God's mercy, believing in God's forgiveness, asking him to forgive us and keep us on the right track. And so belief in God's will is most importantly a way of life that each day we try to do what God's will is and, and, and act upon it. The resurrection of Jesus from the dead is so wonderful that we celebrate it for 50 days because we're so taken up with the reality of God becoming one of us and coming to forgive our sins and to give us his eternal life as well. And so we listen to what the apostles have shared with us who witnessed Christ's life and we try to make it a part of our lives. And in our human weakness, the Lord is always there to forgive us. He's always there to guide us and to help us. So we need not fear because he is there with us. And so today we ask the Lord always to increase our belief so that we, so that we continue in lives of obedience to God rather than disobedience. Let us stand and offer our prayers and petitions.